I've been thinking about this idea for a long time, and I finally decided to go ahead and do it. What I'm going to do is look at an online search engine. I won't tell you which one because I'm not here to advertise for any of them. And I'm going to read the headlines and provide commentary on some of the headlines. I'll skip through because some of the headlines I'm not interested in or I don't know anything about them, so I have no opportunity to comment. So, let's start with... From science, Russia's new permafrost monitoring system could improve climate models, comma, protect infrastructure. Yes, I suspect that a new permafrost monitoring system could improve climate models. And also, if measurements are taken, if observations are taken, then it will do more than improve models. We'll have more data from which to analyze the situation further. Protect infrastructure? Maybe. But I don't think we should be particularly concerned about infrastructure as we near the end of our run for our species. Of course, protecting infrastructure means building more things, and that does maintain aerosol masking. So there's a mixed bag here. From the conversation, don't look up Hollywood's primer on climate denial illustrates five myths that fuel rejection of science. Hollywood's primer on climate denial. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good description of the film, Don't Look Up. I've commented on that film and also Finch previously in this space. And it is, to a certain extent, about climate denial in its various forms. Outright denial that that anthropogenic activities, human activities, are producing greenhouse gases that are fueling climate change and causing a warming of the planet. Right up to, of course, we're humans, so we can fix anything. We can make it all better. That's the standard response from humans, at least during my lifetime. You know, I bet several of the previous species that went extinct by a combination of factors. Also had several members that were at the very end claiming we're special, we're so smart, we can't possibly go extinct. These are the kinds of things I hear every day. From Wired, wildfires are digging carbon spewing holes in the Arctic. Yes, we're finally catching up with what's been going on for many years. Wildfires are digging holes into the Arctic terrestrial system and causing carbon in the form of methane and carbon dioxide to spew out of those holes. This is a primary cause for concern that remains largely undocumented. So it's nice to see this headline. Earth's oldest, this from Smithsonian Magazine, Earth's oldest ocean giant was a reptile with an eight-foot skull. Wow, cool, impressive. Were I not busy creating this video, I might actually click it and see what's going on with that story. From MSN, tracking potential for another snowstorm to hit Midwest, comma, Northeast. Oh, my, another snowstorm headed in my direction in wintertime. Who'd have thunk it? Or as some people say, must be a little ice age, or maybe a whole ice age coming our way. Come on, people. This is what happens in the wintertime in places like New England. It snows. <laughs> this is news. New coronavirus identified in France. This is in addition to Omicron, which is the last one reported widely. And yet again, indicating that we are in serious trouble, that the coronavirus keeps giving new variants as we fail to adapt. We can't even wear our masks. Most people can't even be bothered to make individual changes that might actually protect their neighbors, much less societal changes. Uh, the denial of human impact on and societal impact, particularly on the ability to live with and live through a pandemic is astonishing to me. 
Some of my favorite people are those who deny the importance of the coronavirus. These medications are best for Omicron symptoms. So if you're symptomatic with the recent variant Omicron of COVID-19, then it might be worth looking into medications that improve your prospects of survival as well as your quality of life in light of the coronavirus. From phys.org, and as a consequence, this paper probably points to a peer-reviewed article on the topic as well. Climate change, comma, invasive species found to drive native trout declines. Well, of course, climate change is disrupting the habitat for more than native trout species, disrupting habitat for organisms throughout the world. And invasive species, non-indigenous species that are taking away food for native trout, of course, that's also driving this show. And ecologists have been reporting on both of these factors for a very long time. Mars and Venus could be terraformed for humans with giant shields, NASA director suggests. Wow, that's from The Independent. And <laughs> we terraformed Earth. We did. It's already done. We have profoundly changed the face of this planet. To what end? To the loss of habitat for dozens of species, soon to include Homo sapiens. You want to go terraform Mars and Venus so that we can live there as well? Without a profound change in human behavior, we aren't going to last long on any of those planets, just like we didn't last very long on this planet. We are profoundly influencing all ecological processes and many biological processes that go on on this earth. And essentially none of them are benefiting the whole of humanity. A few are benefiting a few individuals for at least a relatively short period of time. Here's how you can help hummingbirds survive the cold winter months. Study reveals more hostile conditions on Earth as life evolved. Well, I'm not sure what we're pointing to here, but again, this is a phys.org paper that undoubtedly points to a peer-reviewed article. Study reveals more hostile conditions on Earth as life evolved. So sometime within the last few millions or few billions of years, life was hostile and there were more hostile conditions than what we currently face. That's no particular surprise. However, that doesn't mean we won't face hostile conditions going forward. Too hostile, in fact, to provide habitat for our species and many others. Here's a stunning development. A story about a president who, quote, overpromised and under-delivered, well, on climate, climate specifically. So Biden, quote, overpromised and underdelivered, end quote, on climate. Now, trouble looms in 2022. Yes, it certainly does. And not only because of climate change, but this is what presidents of the United States have done for my entire life, at least, and probably going back a lot further than that. They overpromise and they underdeliver on almost everything they talk about, and certainly including climate change. Another stunning development, snow predicted near Albany, that's Albany, New York, the capital, as winter storm approaches. Well, again, it is winter. From medium, the, light, the light-hearted nihilism of Don't Look Up. Again, a review of this movie, which I thought was generally good, as I've commented in this space, but not as good nor as nuanced as Finch. So for what it's worth, I think it's worth seeing both of those films, Don't Look Up and Finch, both from late 2021. From the Washington Post, under the category of Could You Be Any More Obvious? Keep these items in your car in case you get stuck there in the winter. You know, when I was a kid growing up, and beyond being a kid and starting to drive my way to college, my mom would always point out to me the kinds of things I should have in the car to stay warm so that I don't die in case this car stopped running. They make cars a lot more reliable today than they did then. But still, 
it's worth having a candle and a blanket in your car. That's enough for today. I think you get my point that there's a lot going on in the world. It would be entertaining for you, I suspect, to go through your online feed of news information and think about the stories that come up. Just think about the headlines. Obviously, I'm a fan of clicking on some of those headlines as well. Thank you for subscribing. Click the bell so that you'll receive notifications of future videos. And join as a member of the Nature Bats Last channel for additional perks. Mostly, though, thanks for watching. Have a great day.